Hello everyone. Welcome to this Facebook Live at Elizabeth Craft Designs. So I hope to this Facebook Live. I hope everything is okay now. I had a little bit difficult with it telephone but I think it's okay now so welcome so good to see that you are all here so um, tonight I will do the live you can like sh share uh, like comment and share this video to win a chance for the $50 gift card um, so that's be a fun present hello everyone good evening good morning Well, so it will be a fun live, I think, tonight, because I need to make some uh, gift labels for my Christmas gifts, uh, and I have some ideas, so we'll see how far we make it. Hello, hello, everyone. Well, I'll wait just a few moments so um everyone can join uh, anyone can join this live hello hello so um it will be a christmas live tonight because um it's for my christmas gifts um so that's what I, I'm going to work with. But I also want to share something that is on the ECD blog today. Um, else ask me if I want to show that in this live. Um, so I will do that too. And yeah, we'll make it a fun uh, live. Hello everyone. Yeah, it's quite empty now. But um, yeah, we will start. So uh, I will make um, easy gift card of gift packs um, because I need to make some of them. I think like um, eight or nine. So um, I have some small ideas that I want to share. Maybe you have to do that thing too. So um, no, it's totally green now because I didn't start it, uh, Stephanie. Um, well, um, I prepared a little bit because um, Elizabeth Craft Designs has different collections, as you know, and um, you can use that together. Um, so this is our, uh, a nested tag from Josette's collection and this is a tag from Esther's collection. But you can combine that together because I have an idea in mind that I'm on a bigger tag from one set and do a small attack from the other one on top of it so it combines perfectly um, and also the flowers will be there the, some things from the original special and from uh, the collection from um, Annette so yeah it's a lot of uh, things combined together I think um, so I have some flowers here and that is from the Poinchettia. And I use some red uh, cardstock. This I don't color this. I use red cardstock because we want easy cards. Um, so let's see where that thing is. Oh, there it is. Because I'm not that flower, I'm not making that much flowers, so uh, my mom does, and uh, she has a beautiful kit for that, to fold them easily, and that's what I want to do. So, I use two smaller sizes, because I don't want that big on the tag. I have uh, 
this part it's quite big but yeah I um, turn it around so the back is on top and just fold over it and just shape it a little bit round Um, and then I, my mother has this thing and this works for me because I did it last weekend. And now I go in the middle, in the center of each sleeve and just slide it outside. And I do that with everyone. Just go to the middle to the outside. like that then just turn it around so the top is above and then I pick this smaller point and just push this into this foam and now because I make these lines in the middle I can um, put these together so it folds a little bit more And then you have one flower done. And I like that to do it very fast. So I don't make it wet. You can do it, but I don't do that. Just fold it and then just make the lines in the middle. Hi everyone, welcome to this live. I just started with this live because I know myself, I talk a lot and don't work that much. But that's okay. But I need to finish some tags. Like that, then just turn it around. And then push it down and squeeze it a little bit together. And you can play with that. You can choose how many flowers you will use, absolutely. Um, but I don't want it that much and I don't want it that high so these ones are a little bit smaller so just making circles and just fold it a little bit So are you all ready for Christmas for this year with cards and decorating and choosing anything you want to eat? No, this is just paper from the Christmas field notes uh, and just a tag die from uh, Esther. It's uh, Planner Essentials 2055. Absolutely, I can work a little bit higher. And then just a small one. I need to do the center again. So, the lines. Then just turn around and the center. Almost ready with gifts, cards, and ink. They may be a bit late. So now I squeeze the leaves together again. So then we also have in the set this branches. And I like this one. And 
I have some green paper. Hello everyone. Thanks for joining this live. I still have to make God one of those. But it's not Christmas yet. No, it is. Hi everyone. So I think this leaf is beautiful. In this set you also have uh, a top layer. That's this one. So then you get some extra dimension if you want. I don't want it now. But you, you can do that. Um, so. This deck. This is from um, cardstock from Claire Fontaine paper. And I like to do some stamping at the background first. So let's see. I think this one is great. This is from the Art Journal Special Collection. The December to Remember. And I need some clear yeah, block. And then, um, most of the time when I stamp, do some stamping, and I want to do the background, I don't use black. Because I think that's too heavy for a background. Um, you can use black and you stamp on another sheet uh, and then the ink is not that much anymore. But um, yeah, I like more brown color things for that. So, I have this one. And then I will use... Specify glare fallen leaves. Okay. When, when you do some um, black ink, you can stamp it over here and then just stamp it over here. So um, this part will be in the center here in the corner. So I think it's great to stamp this a little bit from outside the corner. Like that. So this part didn't stamp that well, but I will fix that. I will put something over there. Let's clean the ink up. Um, maybe there's. And I can do some stars on top. Yeah, I li really like this brown color. It's it's a really dark brown, but it's not black, and that makes a difference for me. Yeah, which color should I do this? I think the same. But then I don't stamp it over here. I stamp it directly on this uh, tag. Because these stars are so cute. Well, let's see. I have five now. I will go for seven. Hmm, maybe nine. I missed something here. And something here. So if you 
have questions, please ask and I will try to answer correctly. <laughs> um, yeah, so now I think that's okay for stamping. Just put that aside. Oh, it's not that straight for you. Um, so let's see. I turn this part into pieces. And then you can put this piece a little bit lower because I don't want it that long. But I like to have more leaves. So if I do this and then put this a little bit lower. Just turn that piece out. Like that. And then this is behind here. So it's a little bit shorter now. Yeah. And then you can put some flowers here. Let's see if this works. I think I need one more flower, don't you think? Or do this. No, I need more flowers. That's better. So I have just these two smaller ones. And just my red cardstock. And most of the time I color everything with uh, Distress Ink. But yeah, this weekend I did it with cardstock. And I thought, oh, that would be great too. So, just again, we're going to shape them a little bit. Well, it's great that you're all here to watch. So thank you for coming. Just one. And I like that the leaves are a little bit, um, yeah, shape and crimp a little bit. No, I'm making a tag for the Christmas gifts. So, um, there are going to be names on it. So, I will make them at the gifts on the tree. And it was my plan to make easy uh, tags because I need to make nine, can't take nine, so yeah. Maybe it's a good thing that I don't think that much because when I make something most of the time I think too difficult. And then just squeeze the leaves together. Well, uh, we do some inking on the edges. I will do that because you're not here. And I will show in this live another uh, flowers I made with the same set. Then different. It's on the blog today, but I uh, will show it live to you. Then leaves too, because it's um, 
cardstock, it doesn't mean you can't color the edges or color. Um, so yeah, I like to give it a little bit more at the edges. So are you busy with the uh, December day by day or with the prompts? I started with the day by day, but it didn't work out that well. So the flowers are doing only the ends of the leaves. That's fine for me. And last one, I've been making Christmas cards. Yeah, that's a busy job too. I'm doing art journal December to remember slowly. Oh yeah, but then you enjoy it if you do it slowly. I'm doing the prompts with the way behind. So, we need some glue. Yeah, I'm not, I cannot do both either. I can do one, that's why, no, both will be uh, too much for me. But it's great that there are so many options that you can do something in December. So I just put some glue and put this behind. And now we can put it in the corner. A little bit like that. And now I just, I didn't make the line, but I follow the line from the die cutting to fold a little bit these leaves. Because I like a little bit of dimension. And then just with my blending tool, I go slightly lightly over the middle line. So it lights up a little bit. A little bit is enough for me. Like that. Then just a little bit glue on this part. Just this is good. Hey, David. Hey, Anita. Welcome, welcome. And then just trim this off. Only the this part like that, and then flowers. Let's see. This one here. Mm -hmm. Should I do one more? A little bit too much. Oh, maybe I will do this. Like that. Like 
and then this here. <coughs> it's the same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe this is enough. Okay. Don't think that much. So just a little bit of glue in the sander. Then take this tool. Put the def down and hold it for a little bit. Then the other one. And push that down. Beautiful, thank you. Then just glue at the bottom. Put that here and just push it down again. But thank you. I'm not that uh, flower type, but yeah, I like to do this. Just this one. Just a little bit glue and just, I will do this a little bit under these leaves. And this will do. And then I think it's almost done. Only thing I need to do is some letters of the name. So put this aside for later. And Maybe you know these letters, the alphabet tabs. Um, and I don't use tabs, but I use the letters that fell out. So, um, should I do gold? Yes, why not? It's Christmas. Almost. So, I will do my brother's name. I am Oh, thank you. So these parts, you can absolutely keep them for something later. If you need some gold, um, I will do the edges a little bit. And I will bring it a little bit closer in a minute. If I glue this down.
And then the next one. Hi everyone, it's great that you're all here. Well, and then only uh, reinforcement. And then I think this one is done. Let's see. Just make a little bit cleaner. There a black star. Yes, there is. Yes, I like that. <coughs> I'm sorry. So here it is, one deck for my Christmas gifts. Just with the flower from the Pagetia and uh, some stamping um, with Arjuna Special, with um, yeah, Arjuna Special now, dies from Esther, die from Yuset. So that's the first one. And then we go to the next. Let me see what time it is. Oh, I still have some time. I don't know what my phone is doing, but um, he's doing weird. Well, I have something for, for the center, but where do I have that? Oh, I see it. Because I used that last weekend too. Um, yeah, it's something I bought somewhere. Uh, glamour sparkle so I will do that a little bit in the center let's see I have um, something no. just some glue and then just put it over here and then let it dry and after it's dry you can shake it off like that so i'll put this away then the other one and for the other one i have a deck from esther's um sets do some inking and now I will do some more inking just picking another sheet of paper 
because sometimes I like to do it a little bit more. So then just go making circles over your paper. Most of the time I only do so like the edges. But I think this background paper is perfect to do this with. Uh, I not like small, small flakes, I think, but not that, yeah, flakes. It looks like Christmas bow is broken, some pieces. So, then I found a die. And I didn't check if that die is still there. That is this one. And I don't know, I see someone is um, commenting on Elizabeth Craft Designs. It's the Irish Shadow add-ons. And I don't know if it's still there. And maybe you have it. Or maybe you don't. And these are um, circles you can put on the uh, Irish shutter. That's a die earlier. Um, I don't have it here now, so I can show it. Um, yeah, but it's not. It looks like broken. Um, Christmas ornaments, but it's it's not. But yeah, okay. So I will use these to make red on this, and I will use, of course, the green paper. I need to put some paper out of it. Almost, yes. Du -du 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 -du. My idea is to make this red and then just put the yeah, snowman in it. <coughs> yeah, I think well, there are three lives every week still. Look, that's great. And then the next one. So I will do this. Let me see this out. Some small dots. Yeah, that's great. <coughs> hey, Terry, how are you? Um, yeah, so the snowman. I have a totally mess here. Doo -doo -doo. I'm just not working an hour and it's, it's very sad. <laughs> So, um, yes. 
snowman from Annette's stand. And I think this is cute. It fits perfectly in there. And I think I will stamp it on this. Yes. Yeah, my phone is not that um, great at this moment. But yeah, I can't do anything about it now. Sorry. So just the brown ink. And stamp. And clean. So I also need to make a a gift tag for my mother, but she is watching now, so I don't make it for her now. Otherwise, she knows it. Just trim it. So I think this snowman is really cute. And then I also like to look on um, craft paper. So, um, in combination with this brown ink, makes a little bit vintage. I think I will do some highlighting at some point at this snowman because then it pops out a little bit more. Oh, white embossing is also great at craft uh, cardstock, absolutely. There and then I will do some inking on the edges. Oh, that looked cute. Just a little bit inking on this. Don't need that much, but a little bit. Yeah, these leaf circles are great. Sometimes I forget them too. Now I want to make it a little bit more 
in shape. Yeah, I have to. Sometimes I I think it's fun to go through your dies and then you see, oh, I have that too and I have that too. And then you get some ideas. So just putting glue at the circle. So then um, the leaves are free. Um, let's see, where have I? <clears throat> Let me see, I have a gold jelly roll pencil. And I like to do a little bit gold at the nose. And it's scar. Then, this can be at the tag. Um, then the snowman goes inside. And maybe, but I don't think it's fun to do this here. Mad, then I need to do more. Nope. <coughs> but I can do some um, gold thingies at the circle. Then the name. Yeah, what should I do? Oh, thank you, Belinda. <laughs> Yeah, so my brother's girlfriend has something that she can do with stickers and then go with uh, some light on top of it and then just go with a blank uh, nail polish. And then, um, yeah, it's like this. And it sits still because I work with children and do some things and most of the time when I am do some uh, nail polish on it, I do something and then ah, it's some pieces off and then I hate it but now it's good for now um yeah which name should I do well I will do the name of my of the girlfriend of my brother and it's the same name as my name but yeah it is what it is And E, and I will do another N later. So as you can see, if I use bigger letters, it don't fit at this uh, at these small things.
those lilies are a great size. Yes, absolutely. I like this um, this look. I don't have to be always that much of color. Uh, I think. And then just one. And. Let's go. So, um, I'm almost done with this deck and I don't, I think I need to check the time, but I don't think I can make one tag. Um, but I will show you the thing that is on the blog post today. So, uh, you can see it a little bit closer because there are also flowers. But then also with cardstock, with the red cardstock and black in combination with some um, wax. And then this one. And that one. And then I want to do some uh, shaky things too. So I pick this one. Then just do some glue dots. And then sprinkle it on top of it. Like that. So I think this these are the tags that I made. Um, so I need to make this begin the other tags, but that's okay. Let me see if this is dry enough. I think so. 
yeah look I love these things inside flowers and this one needs to dry and then I will make a picture of it so I can share it later and um, then I have this thing that I put on a blog post so it's also a gift for Christmas when we celebrate it with the family I will put these on the um, plates when we go for dinner so it's just a small hanger with a circle die from Elizabeth Craft Design with a tag from uh, the nested tag from Yosef and flowers. So this is um, what I said, a black cardstock with some uh, wax on top of it. So you get that looks that shimmy uh, top of it. So I have this um, with two different flowers. So the red ones and uh, the black ones. And also the inside is different. So here you have both the uh, Christmas gifts. But I also make a cat for my nephew because he liked that. Uh, that's a die from Josette actually. Uh, here's also the snowman. I make the moose. For my other nephew. And it's really great to make these. These things as a gift. Sorry for that. And I do some small glittering with some pencils. Um, so if you want to read more about these um, gifts, you can take a look at the blog. Um, it's on there today and I will share a link uh, after the live. Um, so I will thank you all for watching. And then I think, um, because I didn't plan, but I think this is my last live for this year. So I will wish you all a very happy Christmas with your loved ones and uh, have a great time. And um, we we'll see each other on social media. Um, but also I want to wish you a happy new year. So uh, thank you all for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.